When will things return to normal? I hear this question more and more each day. Everybody is in a waiting pattern and we're all feeling pent up and just tired of it all. What's the best way to get out of this funk? Hi, I'm Shelley Carney, personal development life coach, and I believe acceptance is the answer. Along with accepting that the way we are living right now is normal, we need to find the courage to let go of the past and grab hold of this opportunity. Whether we choose to change or change is thrust upon us doesn't matter. What matters is what we do with this gift. You might be asking, what gift? When you adopt the perspective that life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you, then everything is a gift. God, the universe, or whatever you call the collective fates will send us gifts in the form of wake-up calls. First, God throws a pebble. Hey! If you ignore the pebble, he throws a rock. Ouch! <laughs> but if you still don't pay attention, he'll throw a boulder. It seems to me that the last year has been a boulder. It's telling us we need to shake the fog from our brains and choose how we want to live going forward. That's why right now I'm focusing on courage, specifically the courage it takes to make changes in my life. For me, the past year has been nothing but change. First, the COVID-19 pandemic and extreme social distancing measures became a new facet of life. Then, a gypsy's kiss had to change when the Forest Bend treasure was recovered in June. Next, Toby and I had to learn how to write and publish a book on Amazon. We became authors for the first time. After a treasure hunt came to an end, we had to change again. There were so many possibilities to explore, so we sampled a variety of ideas and finally landed on our new mission. We decided to become a bridge between the older generation and new technology. We want to open up the world of online gaming, TikTok, Twitch, and everything else that pops up in our world that seems strange, new, and maybe even intimidating to people in our age group. I think if we do this together, we'll support each other through the challenges and enjoy the journey all the more. Having the courage to make these changes in my life comes from taking small steps, having a strong support system, and focusing on the solution instead of the problem. That means coming up with creative ideas to fill in the gaps created by what has gone missing. Let me share with you a visual representation of how to think about these changes. Once I have a good handle on what's ahead, I can more easily let go of what is no longer serving me or available to me. I'm going to show you an example, then I want you to do this for yourself. Starting with the roles and activities in my life, I'll make a pie chart. Here's what was going on in my life at this time last year. Creating videos, interviews, and live streams for the softer side. Offering weekly live streams and an online membership group on a gypsy's kiss regarding the Forest Bend treasure hunt. Helping Toby with the World Sand Project. Taking day trips to search for the treasure with Kevin and Toby. Building a coaching and consulting business called Sales Leaders Institute. Hosting and attending parties, barbecues, and meetups. Taking care of myself by going to the gym and through personal growth habits. And also being a wife, mom, and daughter. A lot has changed. Some of the things I let go of are creating videos, interviews, and live streams for the softer side. Offering weekly live streams and an online membership group on a gypsy's kiss. Helping Toby with the World Sand Project. Taking day trips to search for the treasure with Kevin and Toby. Building Sales Leaders Institute. Hosting and attending parties, barbecues, and meetups. And that frees up a lot of space in my life to fill with new adventures. Here's where I am today. 
AGK Gaming on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook every Wednesday and Friday evening. The TikTok podcast, live interviews, podcast, and blog. COVID conversations, live streams, and blog with Dr. Coffee Brown. Sunday dinners with Toby and Kevin and giving haircuts. Something I learned to do this year. Building a coaching and consulting business called AGK Media for live streaming and podcasting. Setting up a voice talent business. Starting on Fiverr. Enjoying online groups, meetings, and lunch club. Working out at home and growth day coaching. And still being a wife, mom, and daughter. And I'm back to making videos for my own YouTube channel too. As you can see, when I let go of one thing, it opened up space for something new or even just a new way of doing the same kind of thing. Where does the courage part of the equation come into play? There is a quote, you cannot discover new oceans unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. Letting go takes courage. Living in uncertainty and stepping outside our comfort zone takes courage. There is fear and anxiety associated with the discomfort we feel when facing the unknown. That fear will not go away until we take action and see for ourselves that what is on the other side of this journey is yet another gift. Having the courage to make life changes comes from taking small steps, having a strong support system, and focusing on the solution instead of the problem. Take a small step today and draw out your own change charts. Subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, and write to me as a part of your support system. Focus your attention on the gifts life is offering you instead of looking back at the shore you've left behind. You can get my free downloadable ebook, The Courage to Change, using the link in the description box of this video. Post your comments and questions and I'll respond and come back next week for a new video. And in this ebook, you'll discover how you can reduce the fear that holds you back, open up to new experiences and enjoy the journey to your best life, and become enthusiastic about your future. So be sure to download your free ebook today.